Global War 36 enthusiast here with Operation 20 Corps, Turn 3.5, Commonwealth. It is July 1937. The Commonwealth has two tech rules. First, I tried for anti-submarine warfare at a 7 or higher. PB generated a 5, so I failed. Second, I tried for long-range aircraft at an 8 or higher. PB generated a 9, so I succeeded. Purchases. Uh, Great Britain has 14 IPP to spend. Purchase two infantry for six, two anti-aircraft artillery for eight, that's 14. FEC has nine IPP to spend. Purchase one infantry for three, begin construction of the fortification in Calcutta for five, that's eight, save one IPP. And Zach has three IPP to spend, upgrade one militia to an infantry for two, and save one IPP. Just a bit of housekeeping, we did uh, PBE Siam from turn 3.4, and they failed with a three. Combat movement. I reached out to Panzer J about performing combat movement, but I haven't heard back from him. I'm 99% sure that he will decline to declare war, but I'll go through the moves and then Panzer J, if you do want to declare war, just stop the video, send a declaration of war to me at whatever time mark you in the video you declare war, and then I will change my turn thereafter. So, um, it, but if you don't declare war, then we'll just proceed with this turn. Okay, from southern England, one naval transport will leave port to see zone A21 carrying one anti-aircraft artillery from southern England. And it's going to go down to sea zone. It'll pass through those submarines um, here in A35. And then it's going to go down to sea zone A44, drop off the anti-aircraft artillery in Gibraltar, and go in port in Gibraltar. Meanwhile, a naval transport that is in port in Gibraltar will go back up to see zone A21 and go in port in southern England. So we're doing the, the switcheroo uh, move. Okay, from Gibraltar, one naval transport will leave port to see zone M2 carrying one infantry. Um, is that right? Yeah, I'm just carrying the one. Well, let me back up. From Ottawa, this uh, air transport will fly to Gibraltar with an infantry. And then that naval transport will leave carrying this very infantry, the, another infantry that started the turn there in Gibraltar. Um, that guy. And it will move over here to Sea Zone I-5, drop off the infantry in Lower Egypt, and go in port in Lower Egypt. Okay, so that gives the Italians the chance to declare war as that naval transport moves through those coastal subs there. All right, um, from Sea Zone M8, one battleship will go to Sea Zone M2 and then go in port in Gibraltar. Again, the coastal subs could pounce on the battleship and declare war if they'd like to. So that means there's two battleships in Gibraltar. From Gibraltar, one, one of the three heavy cruisers will leave port to sea zone M2, and then it will move to sea zone M8. So basically the battleship and heavy cruiser traded places there between Gibraltar and sea zone M8. And then I'm gonna bring one destroyer from sea zone M8. Right? Is that right? Hold on a second. Yeah, it's going to move to Sea Zone A44, just west of Gibraltar, and join a British submarine that is over here in Sea Zone A44. Okay, so those are all my combat moves. I don't have... I think that's right. There might be... Is there anything I'm moving through the Japanese sub here? Let's see. Yeah, I guess there is a, a potential combat move that I should do now. I had it non-combat, but this Anzac 
light cruiser and destroyer are going to move up to C zone M8 through that uh, German battle cruiser. So if you want to declare war uh, on that move, uh, Panzer J, just let me know. All right, I think that's all my uh, combat moves. So now we'll switch over to non-combat. Um, from London, I'm going to have one infantry and one anti-aircraft infantry will move over to southern England. All right. From, let's go down here to, um, what, what is next? Down to I-4. Nope, I already did the Anzac move. Okay, I-7. From I-7, this naval transport will move, well, I guess it's moving through the Russians, but they don't have enough, the Soviets don't have enough to declare war on me, so I didn't need to do that during combat movement. I could just move through there down to I-1, go in port in South Africa. And then um, from southern India, I'll have one infantry and one anti-aircraft uh, artillery. We'll move into Calcutta. From C-Zone I-12, the coastal sub is going to move over to C-Zone I-7, trying to chase its fast Japanese brother. From Calcutta, one Anzac naval transport will leave port to C-Zone I-11, and then strategic naval move to C-Zone P-70, and go in port in South, uh, South Australia. From, uh, from Sydney, one artillery will strategic rail move to South Australia. All right, now we'll do purchases or place units. This Anzac militia will get upgraded to an infantry. And Anzac will collect three, but they saved one. So they'll end the turn with four. Placement of units for FEC. They just have an infantry and then they start the fortification in Calcutta. Here's the fortification started in Calcutta. And then up here we'll add an infantry so we have five FEC infantry. They also saved one. They collect five, so they'll end the turn with six. Great Britain will build one anti-aircraft artillery in Cape Town. And then they will build two infantry and one anti-aircraft artillery up in London. Collect income. They are at 14, uh, and that's where they sit. Okay. Now we begin France's turn. They have one tech roll. They will try for 
um, advanced mechanized infantry. PB generated a nine, so they do succeed and advance to stage one on advanced mechs. Combat movement. Let's see. I There is going to be some combat movement. Let's see. This... Let's think about that. Maybe I don't need to do combat movement. Maybe I should do... Maybe I should strategic naval move this guy. Yes. I'll strategic naval move the transport that's in... Uh, C zone M9, it'll pick up one infantry from Syria and move one to M7, two to M6, three to M4, four to M1, so there's no uh, declaration of war. Drop off that infantry in southern France. And then from C zone M2, this naval transport will pick up an infantry and a foreign legion from northern Algeria move up to C-Zone M1 and drop off those two in southern France. All right. Let's see. I'm going to do some other moves here in France itself. From Picardy, one infantry is going to move to Paris. From Normandy, one infantry will move to Aquitaine. From Paris, one infantry will move to Aquitaine. Should have just railed that guy if I had been thinking. Um, from Alsace-Lorraine, three infantry will move into Paris. From... Um, Southern France, one mountain infantry will move to Aquitaine. And down here in C zone M8, one sub will join the three other subs moving down to I-5. Okay. Um, hmm. You know what? I'm going to move. I'm going to make a slight adjustment. One, one of the subs that was there will move to I-4. Is that I-4? Yeah, to I-4. And the other sub that was there will move to I-4. No, I think I'll keep them where they are. Always seems like I don't do well if I do these audibles. Just stick where I am. I really can't do anything about that battle cruiser. So, all right. Uh, placement of units. I'll put two more militia in Alsace Lorraine. Oh, I didn't tell you my builds. Uh, I have. Let's see. How much do I have with France? Looks like I've got 13 to spend. I'm purchasing three militia uh, and saving seven IPP. All right. I'm going to put, did I say I put three militia? Placement of units. Three militia. Is that right? Seven. Yeah, I'm, I'm building three. Militia in Alsace-Lorraine, so that's a green chip. Collect income. France is at nine, and I saved seven, so that means I've got 16. All right, disposition of forces.
let's go up here in northern England. One militia. In southern England, two militia, one infantry, one anti-aircraft artillery, one seaplane, one fighter, one medium bomber. In port in southern England, uh, naval transport. In London, two infantry and an anti-aircraft artillery. In sea zone A21, two French battleships, plus this uh, task force of one battleship, one battle cruiser, one coastal defense ship, two tor or two destroyers, two torpedo boat destroyers. In uh, Paris, three militia, five infantry, one fighter, one medium bomber. In Alsace-Lorraine, four militia, one artillery. In Aquitaine, three infantry, one mountain infantry, two motorized infantry. In southern France, two infantry, one foreign legion. In sea zone M1, two French naval transports. In M2, one uh, submarine. In A4, one destroyer, one submarine. Two French destroyers, one French torpedo boat destroyer. In A46, one destroyer. In A48, one light uh, cruiser. In port in Gibraltar, two battleships, two heavy cruisers, one light cruiser, one naval transport. In Gibraltar, one infantry, one mountain infantry, one anti-aircraft artillery, one uh, air transport. In Malta, one militia. In Western Egypt, one militia. In, um, in Sea Zone M8, two light carriers, one with a tactical, one with a fighter, three heavy cruisers, one British light cruiser, one Anzac light cruiser, five British destroyers, one Anzac destroyer. In Lower Egypt, one militia, two infantry, one naval transport. In Sea Zone I-5, four French submarines. In Sea Zone I-7, one coastal submarine. In uh, South Africa, one militia, one naval transport in port. In Cape Town, one infantry, one anti-aircraft artillery. In, you know, hmm, um, when I go through, when I trace down past this Italian submarine to, to get supply here, this Italian sub could uh, try to um, interdict. If he does, there's a one through three chance of success and that anti-aircraft artillery would be destroyed. Then Britain would get a D6 for um, peacetime income increase. Panzer J, that's a decision for you to make if you'd like to interdict. Uh, in Delhi, a militia in South Australia, Southern Australia, uh, Southern India, a militia. In Ceylon, a militia. In British Malaya, a militia. In Sarawak, a militia. In Hong Kong, uh, FEC infantry. In Calcutta, there's a partially built uh, fortification. One British infantry, five FEC infantry, one Anzac infantry, one Gurkha, one Anzac artillery, one British anti-aircraft artillery. In um, South, South Australia, one infantry, one artillery, one naval transport in port. In Sydney, there is a motorized infantry. In North and South Island of New Zealand, there's a militia. Next up is Panzer J with 3.7, Italy.